Reject Nation. We are here. <clears throat> it's it's early. It's early, Reject Nation. That was beautiful. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm doing. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> we got ourselves an official trailer for Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. I am so excited for this movie. Now we got ourselves an official trailer. More than Terracons. More than the Autobots. You know what? I'm really excited for Anthony Ramos. Yes, my man. I'm so excited for Anthony, Anthony. Ramos. Woo! As a man who looks Latino but isn't actually Latino, yep. I couldn't be more Soak excited for the representation that we're Soak getting in. in this movie. Let's go into this trailer before we do. Leave a like. Do it. Do it. For America. For America and Anthony Ramos. <laughs> For centuries, our kind has stayed hidden on Earth. Yes, yes, yes. But yes. darkness has found us again. A better shot of air razor there. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron. It's the soul stone. <laughs> <laughs> Unicron yeah, is coming. Here. Hear that? They officially confirm you across cover. <laughs> Anthony Ramos and Mirage. <laughs> Back up. Oh, I thought we were boys. You want it? Come and get it. You brought a human here. I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. So much war. This is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. <laughs> they all agree. can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. Oh boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> In the end, it doesn't even matter. Everything you cared for. Maybe there's another way to save our home. The Mayan calendar. You've never faced anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let them come. Wow. Chills. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We got ourselves a Warner. RC Rider Rhinox, that's cool. <laughs> is this trailer over? <laughs> this is by Yo Noah. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Is he controlling? I mean, it looked like he was about to be enveloped in, in Autobot nanotechnology. Uh, yeah, it's like some Iron Man stuff right yeah. there. He's about to have his own suit. Is that his voice going, yeah, baby? So he was actually, like, controlling the Transformer? I guess so. I mean, that's that's what I get the, the, the sense from Take the Wheel. Like, I, I don't feel like it would just, you know, coat him in something he has no control over. So, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I mean, Unicron has been, t I believe, since the... I barely remember those other movies, honestly. I, <laughs> America's favorite franchise. If I did a reaction to the last two Michael Bay movies, it would be like I'm watching them for the first time ever. The way <laughs> they should be seen. But if I'm not mistaken, one of the, I believe it was the last night where they, they did tease Unicron already, and then the big theory has been that Unicron is going to be the ultimate big baddie that we are building to. The fact that the trailer did you know, confirm it not only in name, but visuals as yeah. well, I think is going to be very exciting for Transformers fans all across the board to have the big baddie come in this way. But right now, let's just focus on the immediate plot here because, you know, they're going to win at, in this movie. They're going to win at the end of the day. Of course. But we will build there because I feel like this movie is going to be the one that like, many of us believe is going to reset the timeline because while this is a sequel to the prequel, but it's still a prequel to the <laughs> original films, this one's definitely going to do something with the timeline considering they have all of our beasts in action here. Every one of them looks really great, you know, like as much as we love 
our bumblebee as much as we love love or optimus prime you know like we're getting all these great shots of primal in here we're getting all these great shots of like cheetor we're getting these great shots of mirage i just want to hear pete davidson talk he gets a lot of crap right. but you know what i think pete davidson is actually funny so you know what he's just one of those people where people just talk bad about him all the time yet he is so successful and gets all the ladies for a reason because he is really funny. <laughs> yeah. Because he's with your girl all right. right now. <laughs> I know for some reason people are like, oh, Pete Davidson. But you know what, Pete Davidson? He's going to be funny in here because sure. he's essentially serving the role that you would give to Bumblebee. <laughs> so Bumblebee could talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bumblebee could talk. You didn't talk, have to rely basically. on the radio and clip it if you had a popular comedian's personality. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Everyone looks great here, you know. Uh, what, but John, and, and I and I feel like, you know, if he if Anthony Ramos's Noah is able to get the powers uh, or able to use like some type of nanotech to be able to pilot himself a transformer, that would really make it, <laughs> make it seem like okay maybe he's not just some human maybe he's he can kind actually of aid in the, in the fight, fight. yeah, yeah what well, and, and i think the character is supposed to be you know like a military technology expert rather than every man you know uh we did our research on anthony Wiki. ramos that's noah. right <laughs> noah he's gonna be the new leader of the fr forget optimus prime forget unicron even megatron <laughs> it's all about noah moving forward but hey i mean i'm all here for <laughs> For a human who feels vital to this stuff, I mean, no shade to Sam Witwicky, but um, but yeah, I don't know. That could be a, a pretty cool development, and it's nice to have a big, huge, you know, a uh, uh, notable villain who isn't going to be Megatron. Uh, yeah, it's nice to break from that, and and yeah, also to have a situation where it feels like maybe it kind of makes some sense that they're fighting on Earth, and that Earth is related to this in some way with the Predacons. Uh, you know, going after the Maximals and whatnot, the Maximals hiding on Earth. Like, I don't know. I feel like that could even, you know, the earthliness of the stakes before we go to the Cybertronness of the stakes, you know? In the beginning of this show, they're saying it's not our fight, you know, that, that, that usual, like, this isn't our fight. We don't need to get involved. <laughs> but if they are following the Beast Wars storyline at all, it's their fight. Yeah. It's important. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, 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 you know, Optimus Primal being like a direct descendant of Optimus Prime, too. Like, both ties in Earth's involvement, but also the greater scoping involvement of, you know, Autobots and well, Transformers of all benevolent varieties. Well, the uh, final battle at the end where they're fighting all the Terracons, because, you know, if, like, Terracons are just essentially zombie-like Transformers. Yeah. And... And then you have like all these great shots of, them, of all the Transformers working together. What I do love is the visual that it's just like Transformers. And Ter like it's yeah. Autobots, Maximals, and, and Terracons fighting each other at the very end. And it's such a glorious looking shot. And RC really getting a chance to shine here uh, in, in the battle sequences as well. Because while like it does have like a dark look in cinematography, especially to have the bleakness, kind of reminds me of like the Infinity War battle with whatever those That's creatures were call. called, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's still a, a, a good color pop with, with enough of our protagonist characters here at the very end that I yeah. think looks great. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. got that dingy, grimy dirtiness, but then that gives you a good opportunity to be able to well identify who are here. <laughs> yeah. I hope all the, tr uh, all the Maximals get an opportunity for their personality to shine. You got Scourge in, in the voice of Peter Dinklage, so I hope they actually utilize Scourge scourge in order for him to you know really just stand out beyond like hey you're another version of megatron you know i mean they uh, have like these shots in the trailer where he's like whooping bumblebee's ass but I'm, I'm wondering if bumblebee gets taken out of battle and then is part of the nano it looks like the nanotech forms to noah, noah via Anthony ramos yeah right yeah well, I, yeah, I mean, that's certainly the sense I got is there's got to be it's it, it either way. It's nanotech equipped, but also, yeah, something that can create a bond, a link, et cetera. And, and maybe there's a transformer in the mix uh, who can, you know, mimic the shape of other transformers. So maybe that's not an actual bumblebee getting murked. 
Uh, is Step Mirage through. the one who's able to do that? Is that Mirage? There you go. That would make a lot of sense. Create illusions and yeah. things like that. Create likenesses. So maybe yeah. that's a sacrifice. Yeah. Too. All righty, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. What did you think of this Transformers Rise of the Beast trailer? Are you excited for this film? I hope you are. Hey, leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to get this video to y'all right now. It's already been to you, but in my time of filming this, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs>